So with the potential of freezing rain tonight into tomorrow, there are big concerns about power outages. Ice could weigh down power lines and branches, causing major issues. Fox 13's Dan Griffin driving along I-90 right now, and there's a winter storm watch in effect and a wind chill advisory. Dan, how's it going? Hey, good morning to you, Bill and Liz. I can tell you it is very blustery. It is very, very cold. Right now, the car thermometer reading at 11 degrees. I'm going to flip the camera around just so you can kind of see what we're seeing right now. We've seen snow just blowing across I-90 this morning. That's had road crews going around really surveying everything and looking for refreezing. So they're dealing with that, right? Well, then the power crews, they're dealing with the wind just as well. Apparently, uh, power outages have been happening this morning. We've been through some pretty rough ice and snow in the past. We know more than a decade ago that more than 200,000 people found themselves without power after a nasty ice storm. Well, Puget Sound Energy says there's about 2,200 customers impacted by power outages right now this morning. It's about 30 active outages. Stonebush PUD is saying about 377 customers are dealing with power outages right now. Uh, Puget Sound Energy is saying that they have 280 line workers positioned and ready to go for this storm. They're based out of local service centers throughout the area. SDOT says it is treating roads using its winter vehicle fleet to combat ice and they're stocked up on liquid anti-ice or salt. The, they say that during a severe storm, SDOT clears routes for critical streets, for buses and emergency services. And these crews all know that things can change in a flash. Like I said, it's something we learned back in 2012 as ice piled onto a lot of snow across western Washington. Roads were a mess. Thousands of crashes happened. Flights were affected. People were desperate to get their power back on. And there were concerns about the weight of all that ice and snow. And of course, there was a state of emergency declared as people dealt with all kinds of damage from trees crashing into their homes, yards, and cars. Well, there are concerns about getting products delivered, too. So we talked with officials at Puget Sound Energy about all of this, about what you need to know ahead of this storm. Take a listen. As soon as we have it reported, we send a crew out there to assess the damage. And then again, um, on the outage map, it'll show the ETR, the estimated time of restoration. Um, and just keep up through there, really. Um, there's a lot of safety things that are we ask our customers to really do, look for. You know, if you see a down power line, never touch or go within 35 feet of those. Um, you can call PSC or 911 to report issues with that. Um, if your power does go out, don't use charcoal or gas grills to cook indoors. Never use a natural gas range for heating or charcoal is an indoor heating source. All right, guys, so Puget Sound Energy officials say it's crucial to never run a generator in your home no matter what because it can create a carbon monoxide situation. I want to get back to us live. We've just definitely witnessed a big old crash here. I think we've got a jackknife tractor trailer. This is westbound on I-90, and I'm pretty sure we have another jackknife tractor trailer right up ahead of us. And I want to make sure we're real careful. We got another car crash. This is going to turn into a mess. So this is westbound I-90. We were headed back towards Seattle. Um, oh, geez. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to be a big one. Um, let's see. We've got numerous tractor trailers that have jackknifed. We've got one, two, three, multiple cars that are involved in this. And I don't know how long you guys want to stay with us, but this is just we just rolled up to got emergency crews here on the scene as well we can see them just up ahead people getting out of their cars and these tractor trailers trying to figure out and assess the damage here um we literally just pulled up on this i'm going to see if we can get this to can you run the wipers real quick so we can get this to there we go um i'm just getting a closer look at this right now so we're going to try to figure out what happens next here i'm going to try to move this camera hold on just a second stay with me i'm going to get out and try to get a better look at this guys this literally just happened i'm going to be really careful here I'm gonna grab this before i go any farther sorry guys i know this is a bit messy on the air i'm sure so this is what we just got up to i don't know if you can uh see this but this is pretty bad we've got this tractor trailer here I'm just trying to figure out what happened you have these cars i think this guy hit the guardrail over here i'm gonna try to walk up this way are you okay are you okay okay just lose it on the ice it was black ice. Yeah. Okay. okay, so now we're coming up to it. Look at this. We got one, two, three. I want to be real careful. Are you okay? Yeah. You're okay? I'm lucky I got a 
Okay. I'm glad you're all right. You okay? Okay. I don't know how many. Oh, it's Fox 13. What happened? Did they get this truck up here? Or? Okay. Um, how many? I can't even tell you right now. Okay. Digits. Anybody hurt that you know of? Okay. I'll be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you. Okay. So they are seriously hurt, according to a state trooper here on the scene, you guys. Um, up at the front of this crash, we guess somebody lost control, and I've never seen anything like this. Not like this. Um, I'm going to say kind of back. You told me somebody seriously hurt, and I don't want to get too close, but I'll tell you that just standing where I am right now, just trying to keep my footing is is pretty tough. Um, it just goes on Dan, and on. Yeah, can so, you hear us? Yeah, Dan. You know what we're what we're seeing here. I mean, it looks like it looks like a chain oh, reaction a crash. You had one let me, uh, truck potentially spinning out, and then a whole up. bunch of just others trying second. to stop my, in the snow. Uh, my AirPod just died, so I just want to go grab my. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. oh technical battery. issues. Okay. Let me. Uh, let me just walk. Through. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Just a second here to grab my other All right, AirPod. so as Dan is going to grab that AirPod, it sounds like, I mean, what Bill just said, we were, we're looking at what seems to be some sort of chain reaction crash. I was just having a hard time hearing what that trooper was saying. I was hoping to get some clarification yeah, from he, Dan. Yeah, he was saying they were just trying to sort it out themselves, yeah. but uh, obviously a lot of trucks and uh, even some cars running into to guardrails there, but this is a huge mess, and obviously this is going to cause a closure on that stretch of roadway for some time. Yeah, and it sounds like... Uh, uh, our, our production was listening as well, and it sounds like at least uh, one serious injury right now, but they just don't know at this point how many vehicles and how many semis are involved in this crash. So, wow, I mean, this is sort of a worst-case scenario. I mean, look at this. Just scattered and uh, thrown all over the roadway here. Wow. All right, so Dan making his way back to the news vehicle right now. He's going to try to grab an, an AirPod. Yeah. So hopefully, which helps in the reporting. And I mean, this is just a little bit of what I think we are dreading, especially when it comes to that Friday commute in the lowlands as well, because we're talking about the freezing rain, uh, those frozen over roads. Dan, can you hear us? Are you good? Did you get your AirPod in? Yeah, I've got my AirPod back. Okay. Hold on, just a second. I'm just grabbing a pair of gloves. Uh, no, you, know, you definitely need them. Yeah. It's... So, so can you just, uh, if, if you can hear us while you're getting your gloves, and I know you're doing a lot all at one time, um, can you reiterate what that trooper yeah. was saying to you? What you were, what you that that conversation you just had with them? Yeah. So basically, what he told me is somebody lost control up here, and this basically just became like a chain reaction crash, and that there is oh lordy. Uh, I'm telling you, just walking on this is not easy. Um, it's really slick. So basically what the trooper told me was that there was some kind of a chain reaction crash of some kind. Somebody lost control, and then it led to this whole crash that we're looking at here right now. Can we look behind us? This is backed up just now. You see a truck that's kind of sideways there. They were lucky enough to come to a stop, I guess. Um, but yeah, so essentially somebody lost control, and then it just turned into this whole scenario here. Where you've got all these vehicles and this is a mashup of cars trucks we've got emergency vehicles up here uh just a mashup of people and every time you see somebody I, literally my first question is are you okay yeah um this is unbelievable hey hey dan can you give us uh, an idea exactly where you are right now so i was hoping let me see here let me uh let's try to find my footing I know we were headed westbound on 90, and I was looking down at my phone uh, when we got this close. Let's see. I'm going to pull it up on Google. Mile marker 32. Mile marker 32. So I would say, where were we headed? 
Yeah, so basically North Bend area. You know where that TA truck stop is? We're yep. not too far from there. We're just like east of that TA truck yep. stop on westbound I-90. Yeah, so a few exits up from there is, is where they typically close the road um, if they're going to have a pass closure. But, uh, you know, to your point just a moment ago, just sliding on the road in your shoes, that gives you an idea of just how slick it is yeah. for those cars there. Um, and, and, he just, and he just mentioned mile marker yeah. 32. That's North Bend. Yeah. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know how much closer we want to get down there right now. I'm a little bit nervous just because they said somebody was seriously hurt. Um, I don't know what we're going to see as we get closer, but yeah. we can make our way down and talk to some people, see if they can tell us anything more about, you know, what they saw. All right, well, be safe out there and uh, let us know what you find. We'll check back with you in a few minutes, okay? Okay, Dan, that sounds great. Thank Dan, you. Thank you for being out there and appreciate you as well. Okay, so uh, don't forget to download our Fox 13 weather app. Hopefully you can stay on top of the conditions using that. As you can see, they are changing rapidly here. Uh, we will be back with more on Good Day Seattle after this.